guys welcome back to my channel Jesus wants you I'm Nikki Pratt I'm sorry you guys I've been out a little bit I haven't made a video in a couple of days a few times I had about four or five videos going up at one time uh, my dream videos I'm gonna kind of put them on pause for now I'm gonna um, try to get a little heavy on another issue um, but, but um, also, I need to let you know that I will be out of town next week uh, for my anniversary. I'll be out of town, so I'm going to try and do a couple of videos so you guys could, um, you know, kind of view them, marinate on them until I get back. Um, but you will be missed. I will definitely have my word with me. And... Um, I don't know who knows maybe I could try and make a video where I'm going but I don't know pretty far we, we shall see um, but uh, again like I said I will miss you guys um, today my video is on martial law knocking at your door when will martial law be more walk blah, blah, blah. When will martial law be knocking at your door? The way things looking, pretty soon. Pretty soon. I'm not saying this year, but pretty soon, okay? Uh, I will be reading from my paper. I've uh, taken some notes because I don't want to leave anything out uh, for sure. I will be coming from the Word. I will... Uh, line some scriptures up and for you to follow me um, with so with all that said I am going to get in to it okay okay there has been a lot of military action around the world okay those places being California Florida Virginia Maine North Carolina Las Vegas Houston Chicago and Memphis okay there's also been probably a lot of action going on in your town, in your neighborhood. They've been doing a lot of this, like in downtown areas, school areas, kind of camping out. You may have seen Black Hawk helicopters flying around. Um, what are they doing? Keep listening. They're, they're saying that they're training for a natural disaster. Okay. The military has been in Vegas, camped out in their little Humvees, tankers, uh, the Black Hawk helicopters with the big weapons, um, men with ammo, speaking of weapons, speaking of weapons. I don't know if you probably have already heard the military, the government, not the military, but yes, the military does have it, but the government has stockpiled hollow point bullets. Why and whom do they have the, that for? You. You. Don't believe me? Keep listening. Okay? Um, the military now are our police. The government has taken them out of military duties now they are policing the state, policing the citizens of the United States. Probably not happening yet in some of our areas, but in some areas it has. Okay. Now our mainstream media won't give us this kind of news. Why? Because they compass our uh, TV viewing with uh, reality shows and all kinds of crap that they come up with now all these evil movie that movies that they're making now um, and got your mind all occupied okay a lot of the news that you will see is from alternative news media um, people uh, that of course make videos like me on YouTube, uh, there has been 
And before I end my video, I'm going to let you hear a video clip because there are a lot of you may say, oh my God, here she comes with this conspiracy stuff. Um, conspiracy, you may think, but uh, conspiracy is not, okay? Um, it's getting real out there. It's getting real ugly. And I know you see um, Satan, the beast, is rising. I mean, there is a lot of evil going on in the world. I know it always has been, but it's beefed up right now. Okay? Remember that commercial, Where's the Beef? The beef is here. Okay? Now, like I said, the military are now our police. They're doing drills, usually at schools. They're camping out and... um downtown areas in different cities uh the nsa is spying on us on our cell phones your computers i mean there is nothing you can do in secret nothing you can do in secret why the nwo new world order one world government one world religion one world monetary system is coming i don't know if you guys have seen that uh, on the news lately, that the Dow, the s and it's looking ugly. I'm telling you, I remember sending out some videos, you know, if you got money in, in a bank account, you might want to take it out. Now look, I'm not trying to impart fear, I'm just being serious. I'm saying for now, because either way it go, that money is not going to mean nothing. The dollar is going to be of no value. What's going to be of value is gold and silver. Okay. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. The Black Hawk copters, martial law, seizing guns. From whom? From you. For people in the United States. Okay. Do you have your spiritual eyes on? Do you have ears to hear? Now, this is what I'm telling you. I don't want you to fear because we are not to fear. If you have Christ, the hope of glory in you, you possess the Holy Spirit, you've been saved, you should know by now we don't fear, okay? Fear is from the enemy. We do not fear. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and the sound mind. Okay? He said to be watchful. We are the watchmen to be watchful. We need to be sober of the day, not of the night. We need to be always watching. Always watching. Um... They are the military, not the military, the government is doing away with our rights, you know, controlling everything. You know, they're taking away our Second Amendment rights, the guns. We have a right to bear arms. You know, I can tell you, Texas, they're going to have a fight in Texas. Those people ain't going to give up their arms. Not easy, not without a fight. Um, but... You know, the troops are now on American soil, the top of the list now, uh, that is said by DHS, Homeland Security, Christians are the top of the watch list. We're crazy, we're uh, radical, we, we, we spread news about Jesus, that's what it is. We're, we're mental now. We crazy, but don't worry about it. Jesus came into his own and they received him not. They called him crazy. Remember that? So who are we? Who are we? Um, but anyway, people like us, evangel evangelical Christians, those of us who spread the news of the gospel, who preach Jesus, who um, talk about Jesus down on the cross, who tried to 
help and lead people to Christ, who talk and you see people preaching on the streets, that person will be radical. That person will be crazy. That person will be locked up. That's coming soon. You know, the Bible says Christians will be persecuted for his name's sake. Whose name's sake? Jesus' name's sake. Okay? Um, the Real ID Enforcement Act, Act is compliant now in 21 states. If you don't know what the Real ID Enforcement Act is, it deals with the global ID, ID global identification they're calling it a lot of things now, biometric identification. All of this are, uh, you know, just implementations of Mark of the Beast type technology. Okay. Um, all They want all this global biometric identification mess. They want it all out in April of 2014. Also, in April of 2014... John Kerry, the Obama administration, wants the peace agreement signed. You know, we have Kerry threatening Netanyahu in Israel right now, you know. Read, by the way, read what the, if, if you are one that blames Israel or blames uh, Jerusalem, You, please read the book of Genesis chapter 12 that will let you know how and how and why Israel is God's apple of his eye. Why we as Christians should be on Israel's side always. Okay, that's Genesis chapter 12. Um, also in April 2014, I'm supposed to do a video on this soon, and I, I may do it before I leave. Um, I leave on Sunday, Monday? I don't know. But anyway, the blood moon is supposed to be in April of 2014. All of those major, like, events in 2014 of April. Okay, um, they're telling everyone, the government, that the military is doing all their little camping out, you know, the government has ordered also FEMA camps, coffins, um, and again, I'm not trying to scare you, okay, but it's the truth, check it out. Google it, look it up, YouTube it, whatever you got to do, but it is true. Coffins, FEMA camps, all this is preparation. All it's going to take is one big global, I wouldn't say global, but one big catastrophe to happen. And if you think about it, it has to happen that way. I mean, for us to have this food shortage... Um, the, the dollar crashing, well, all that has got to come into play for the new world order, the new world government that Revelation chapter 13 talks about. Okay. Um, the biometric ID is starting in the UK in Vermont, facial recognition, RFID for passports. You know, Jesus warned us of these things. So again, if you're fearing, you should not be. But I want you to go with me to your Bible and let me show you in the Word what Jesus had to say about these things. That way, you would know we were forewarned. Forewarned. Go to Luke. Chapter 21 with me, verse 12 through 20. Okay, that's chapter 21, verse 12 through 20. Verse 12, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you. 
um, delivering you up to synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my namesake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. That is so good right there. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, mm -hmm, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist, nor resist. Verse 16, and you shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Wow. Verse 17, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Verse 18, but there shall not an hair of your head perish. And your patience possess ye your souls. Verse 20, and when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Wow. Jerusalem compassed with armies. That's going on right now. Right now. Okay. Um, also come with me to Mark. Getting a lot of scriptures today. A lot of scriptures. Mark chapter 13. Verses 9 through 14. Okay. Mark chapter 13. I was on the wrong page. Verse 9 through 14. And it reads, But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. Verse 11, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak, neither do ye you, <clears throat> do you premeditate, premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Verse 12, now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Verse 13, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Verse 14, but when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of in the Daniel, spoken of by Daniel the prophet. We all know what that is. Mm hmm. All right. Now let's turn to Matthew verse 24. I'm sorry. Matthew chapter 24 verse 9 through 14. Matthew 24 verse 9 through 14. And it reads, Then shall ye deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. There it goes again. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. All right, turn with me to chapter, I'm sorry, uh, the book of John. Chapter 16. I hope y'all don't have any problem with going through this Bible and this word. Some of you don't have no problem watching them reality shows. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay. John chapter 16, verse 2, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. Who do that? Muslims. Muslims. Crazy, radical, jihadist Muslims. See, he told you. He's telling us. He told us. Okay? 1 Corinthians. Gotta love God's word. Got to love God's word. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 10 through 16. 
1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 through 16. What? Okay. Verse 10. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Verse 12, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Verse 13, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Verse 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Mm-hmm. Neither can you know them, but because they are spiritually discerned. Verse 15, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Verse 16, but who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Okay, let's go over to Deuteronomy. Uh, verses, I'm sorry, I keep saying verses, chapter 29, verse 29, and it reads, The secret things belongs unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. Okay, Amos, chapter 3. Last scripture, guys. Bear with me. Like I said, you can watch that TV. You can look in God's word. Learn some things. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Now, you probably say, well, why did you read that? Those few scriptures saying that, you know, of the spirit and he reveal it this and he show us this and that because he do because he do if you are of god you believe in god the holy spirit was left here for a reason for a time like this okay one of the reasons that's not the only reason but one of the reasons okay um Listen, first, you may say, well, you know, that's, that's just coming from you. I don't believe that. And, you know, a lot of you probably won't look, believe what's going on in the world with this martial law. And like I said, a lot of times, most of the times, mainstream media won't give it to you. But for those of you who have to hear it from mainstream media, let me play you a little video clip here. Um, to hear, I think this is from Bill O'Reilly, Fox News. Are we the people responsible for the chaos that is enveloping America? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points panel. The folks are indeed responsible for the government they get. Germans could have thrown Hitler out. They did not. Russians fought hard for Stalin. The Chinese surrendered to Mao. The Cubans allowed Fidel Castro to take away their liberty. The folks are responsible. Yesterday, the Government Accountability Office, the nonpartisan investigative arm of Congress, released its annual audit of the U.S. government. The report covers the fiscal years 2011 and 12. The conclusion of the report is this, quote, Absent policy changes, the federal government continues to face an unsustainable fiscal path. Let me repeat that. Absent policy changes, the federal government continues to face an unsustainable fiscal path. If the feds do not stop the wild spending and do not reform Medicare and Social Security, the U.S. dollar will collapse. That means that all of our savings, all of our investments, our homes, and everything else will blow up before our eyes. Scene, 
that you just saw tonight, well, it likely left you in awe. Local 10 photographers, along with reporter Christina Vasquez, were there to witness it all. Christina. In awe, and as you mentioned, it can be quite alarming. Seven, we counted them, seven black ox thundered across downtown Miami. And we're going to take a pause here so you can listen in, so you can appreciate what it sounded like to be there. You know what? You can be prepared. Nothing can never knock you out unless you unprepared. You ever had something to come up on you and you wasn't prepared, but when you prepared for something, you handle it better. Am I saying put your faith in man? No, by no means, no. I'm saying all this to say, where is your faith right now? Because a lot of people don't know that this is going on. And if you don't know this is going on and you get blindsided, blindsided, and you're not paying attention, okay, you watching the reality shows, what Satan has set up for a lot of people, a lot of Christians are watching these reality shows and they keep their head in Facebook and not in Jesus book. And you're not watching this kind of stuff. And this big catastrophic event happens, which a lot of people, or there's a lot of prophecies around New York, Chicago. Look, when the dollar crash, when there's no food on the shelves, I'm saying all this to say what? Who will your faith be in? Because I done already told you, you can't have the faith in the government. Mm -mm. That ain't going to happen. That ain't going to work. See, the government is playing a lot of 
classified secret stuff. But, you know, a lot of you, there are a lot of people who do know what's going on. A lot of people preparing. A lot of people stocking their freezers and and and, and uh, buying up all this. Child, I ain't buying nothing. I ain't stocking no water. I'm not stocking no food. I'm not doing anything. Now, I'm not knocking those of you who do. If you do, you like it, I love it. Why I'm not stocking anything? Because my faith is in God alone. Because I really think that at that time, our money is not going to mean anything. Food is not even going to be worth eating. Okay? I'm putting my faith in God. Because the only person that, who can fix this stuff, this mess, it ain't that peace agreement either. It's the peace maker, the peace that passes all understanding. That peace from Jesus. Okay, I'm putting my faith in him. If God provided the children of Israel with manna, he's going to provide for me. Remember when I read out of the four Gospels? When he said, um, don't worry, don't meditate or what you're going to say when they come for you. I ain't worried. I'm not, I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not stocking nothing. I, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. You know, you probably said, so what are you saying? I mean, what are we supposed to do? Well, you supposed to. You know, the book of Ephesians chapter 6 says what? We wrestle not only with flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. We supposed to have faith in God. Okay. We supposed to put on our helmet of salvation. All right. Our helmet of salvation. We supposed to arm ourselves. Put on our breastplate of righteousness. Wrap up, have our sword ready, his word, okay? Our double-edged sword, his word. That's what we're supposed to have. Christ in you, the hope of glory, okay? You get your sword in your hand, and when Satan tempts you, and he said, come on. You could go to the casino one more time. Give me that money. You know you want to go to the casino. And if you got your hat on of salvation, Christ in you, the hope of glory, your breastplate of righteousness and your sword, and Satan tempts you with that about a casino, and then you can say, it is written. It is written. Okay, that I should not serve God and mammon. I should not serve God and mammon. When Satan comes at you again with the weed, wanting you to do weed and cocaine and meth and those pills, those narcotics. Oh, I know about them. I'm in the medical field. Mm -hmm. I know about them. Xanax, Lortab, and it's calling you. You know that it's a design from Satan. You know that it's designed to keep you from hearing from God. That's all that stuff is doing. So when it's calling you and you think you want it, you say, It is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. It is also written, okay? My body is the temple of God. The Holy Spirit that dwells in me, I am not my own. Okay, when that man or woman, that on the side man or woman calls you up, wants you to commit adultery and you want to meet him around the corner or you want to meet him at some restaurant or some hotel, Satan tempts you like that, want you to commit adultery, you say, it is written, thou shalt not commit adultery. Let every man have his own wife. And let every woman have her own husband. It is written. 
have that written word ready to say when Satan get ready to tempt you. It is time, people, to get saved. Now, the only way we're going to be provided standing in that evil day, having done all to stand, the only way we're going to be provided for is if we're in the will of God, is if we submitted to his will, is if we accepted Jesus Christ. Have you accepted him? I sure hope so. You don't want to wait too late. You don't want to wait, wait too late. I don't get on here looking crazy for nothing. The government's calling me crazy. I don't care. I'll be a Jesus freak. I will be a Jesus freak. Look, when all this stuff, again, back to what I was saying. When all this stuff is going on in the world and you worry, Jesus said, don't fear. Remember what I said. Jesus said, don't fear. Earthquakes, some big catastrophe is going on. This is what you do. All this is going on. Earthquake over here. Catastrophe over here. No food. What we do, we keep our focus on Jesus. Our focus on Jesus. We don't look to the right, look to the left. We don't look back. We keep our focus on Jesus. We be watchful. We be watchmen. We be sober. We pray without supplication. I did not say that right. We pray with supplication. Okay? We pray. If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, please do so today. You do not want to wait. You do not want to wait. Do not be afraid of this stuff that I'm telling you about. If you're unsure, I tell you all the time. You see any of my videos, I'm not ashamed to tell you. Go behind me. Pray about it. Read it. Look it up for yourself. Instead of watching all these reality shows, if you think about it, if you watch TV, everything is a reality show. Everything. All these little dance shows with these little kids and it, it's a mess. You can't even watch TV. So I'm not fussing. By no means, I am not fussing. I just want to help somebody somewhere that's not saved lead you on that right path that straight and narrow road to righteousness okay remember jesus want you i love you be looking out for more of my videos good night